it's a sh terrible ending. I got a new chair here. I'm getting used to my new chair. Sorry. <laughs> it's a sh terrible sh ending. Sh terrible? I almost said a naughty word. Oh, okay. It wasn't bad. We were just goofing around. How are you? I'm good, man. These things sound awesome. You know, they do. I haven't played. I, honestly, the worst thing about this is we have so much inventory. You almost said it again. No, I didn't. <laughs> That I'd, I've not sat down with these very long. Really, you haven't? No, yeah. I hate I've, that. I've been uh, picking them up a little more and more lately, thinking about a um, just a, a couch guitar. Mm -hmm. Although that's not really, I mean, there's so many different customers for this guitar. It's not just the player looking for the old couch guitars. You, you can perform with these. You can People you know, do it. Grown-ups, kids, I mean, they're great, they're great size for students. Ants. Aunts, uncles, uncles. <laughs> cousins. You know what's worse than having ants in your pants? What? Uncles. <laughs> I wasn't That's ready for that. <laughs> so anyway, we have the uh, Taylor GS Mini E and the Taylor GS Mini Co e. E Koa. Koa. E Koa. Mine's fresh from the Hawaiian Islands. It is, yes. you say. <laughs> yeah. I, I bet not. <laughs> it's not smelling too fresh. <laughs> <laughs> it's been on you. So It's the, early. I showered. <laughs> so um, what we have is, like I said, the GS Minis in different yeah. variations. This is kind of your, with electronics, this is your the basic one, the GS Mini. So it has um, Sitka Spruce, solid Sitka Spruce top. Walnut back and sides, am I correct, sir? I believe so. Walnut back and sides, Sapele neck, uh, African ebony fretboard. Um, get into more details as we go. But it has, you know, this is a little tidbit we learned from our rep, which is really cool, is it has the ESB system in it, which mm -hmm. a lot of people equate that to putting in their less expensive guitars, which is, which is, Cool, it's a great pickup, the ESB instead of the ES2, which is in all the, you know, the 100 to all that 200 series and all that and up. But what this is, is it's the ESB preamp, which still sounds great, but it is the ES2. It's the same pickup, pickup. that comes in the high end, higher end, all the whole line, really. For that Bonus. Line. Yeah. Bonus. But the cool, so it has a tuner, very good tuner. Mm -hmm. Battery is right here, and it's one of those uh, 2032s. So it's like this. Yes. <laughs> so it lasts forever. Yeah. And it's easy to get to. It's not some it's thing right. that's taped up in here right that, uh, that you can't get to. Yeah. You know, the, the one that goes back here is cool too. It slides right out the nine volt or whatever, but that's cool. So it's got a tuner, yeah. tone and volume. Yeah. Very cool. So these guitars are identical other than the tops and the backs. Am I correct? Yeah, this is uh, Koa. Top and uh, back. solid koa. Solid that's koa. a beautiful one, I'd yeah. say. Yeah, that's really the only difference. Koa layered koa back and sides. That's correct. So uh, why don't we play a little bit of the same thing? Okay. And uh, I'm, I'm going to start because if you play something more advanced than me, I won't be able to play it. I'm going to make me look like a jerky. Down to okay? play. So let's just do some simple strumming. So G. <laughs> you did yeah so we playing guitar horse <laughs> we can basketball. try we can see how much of a train wreck this is gonna be so let's, i'll play that i'll play that <laughs> rhythm that you that we were working on it or that we were doing at the beginning okay wait for me to finish i wanted to play it with you we'd play separate so people can well, hear we can it. do that too okay go ahead Yes, I'm okay. done. You can go now. <laughs> yeah. 
so what would you say? You feel like this is brighter? Got a little more. I think it's got a, to me, I, maybe it's just because I'm here and you're there, but this guitar seems to have a little more projection and maybe a little brighter. That's what I think. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I am here listening to it. And I would, ex it, I would expect that from Koa. Yep. Yeah. So the cool thing, the, 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 what's, what's really immaculate about <laughs> these guitars is that it's a small guitar. And, you know, a lot of people say a parlor guitar <clears throat> is a certain shape. Well, not really. If you look back to why they, became, why they started making parlor guitars, it wasn't because <clears throat> it was this small lower bout and a small, you know, small waist, small upper bout. It was that it was just small so it could fit and people could travel with it and take it to a parlor. Parlor's a concept, not, not a shape. Yeah, and it has become a shape for other brands and it has become... You know, but don't think of a parlor guitar as, okay, the title has to say parlor for it to be a parlor guitar. Right. It's, it's just that it means that it's small, the idea. Well, and go ahead. I was just going to say, I would have bet you don't want to pigeonhole a guitar like this by calling it a parlor guitar. Though, I was going to get this, to that, yeah. yeah. Well, go ahead. I'm so, sorry. No, it's okay. So the deal is, is that what, what, Bob, <laughs> what Bob Taylor did was... He just took the, the, the Grand Symphony, which is what GS stands for, and shrunk it down and made some little modifications to make this thing sound like a, you know, a lot of these smaller guitars with shorter scales, smaller bodies, they sound thin, they sound like a, almost like a, like a thin line electric guitar, you know, like other brands can make. But, um, so what the deal is, is that he shrunk it down, but changed, but made the body depth is like four and seven sixteenths, so that helps. But the cool thing is, if you haven't noticed, is the sound hole is bigger. Yeah. It's generally, it's bigger than most standard size acoustics, so it lets this sound come out, mm -hmm. okay? And it's, it's, it's really, it's, it's a nice guitar sitting here playing. I mean, I'd record with it for certain mm -hmm. songs. It's comfortable. I mean, and I... I've, I'll preach it again. I preach it every day to, to people I talk to on the phone and in the stores that, you know, comfort has got to be one of the most important factors that you, uh, you know, that you choose an instrument. Uh, There's a reason why not yeah. many people own double neck guitars. Because <laughs> they're cool, but they, uh, they're very cool, but they don't, you know, they're not, you wouldn't want to sit on the couch and play a double neck uh, guitar. <clears throat> Let's have a custom built double neck tailor made. Does that sound like a great idea? Why not triple? The heart shape like Steve Vai did. Coming off of both sides. Yeah. yeah. Like what's what's that guy that plays two? Michelangelo. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. You could do that on acoustic. Uh, let's not. Let's not go there. All right. We're in a, um, we're but, off in the weeds. But yeah, so great, excellent guitar. It, it's comfortable. It plays like butter as do all Taylor. I've never yeah. played a Taylor that didn't play like butter. Well, and you can play all styles, you know what I mean? I'm not going to say you can play death metal on it, but you can play... You could try. You can strum, which is what we were doing. You can solo on it. You can finger style on it, so... Mm. The beautiful sounds of Roberto Arnaldo. <laughs> coming through <laughs> so very cool guitars um, this model is 649 with the pickup in it you can get a non-electric version which mm -hmm. is 499 uh, same specs and everything is this but it's it's a uh, non-electric just, just can't plug her in but you can add the ES go pickup which is an aftermarket pickup built just for these for this size of sound hole everything it's yeah. pretty much for this um, I don't know why you would want to do that and not. Well, just you go might ahead. you might think well, I don't need the pickup now. I'll just get the guitar, the acoustic only it. guitar, and then six months down the road, man, I really wish I had a pickup. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess what I'm getting at is if you don't already own one, don't buy a non-electric and add the ES Go when you can do this. This is built and it's got the ES2 pickup in it. And the so, tuner and air, yeah. Yeah, it's all built right there. So. Um, that's four ninety nine. This is six forty nine, but it's got the electronics in it. Yeah. Specifically built for this by Taylor, and then this is the Koa version, which is 
most people consider that an upgrade. It is seven ninety nine. Yes. So um, it's, it's got all this Cohenus in it. It, it. it should. Good <laughs> good observation, Rob. So the deal is is that these are great guitars for beginners if you want to spend a little bit of extra money and this is gonna become you know, this is gonna be a mainstay in your guitar collection, you know, that you're not just gonna buy it and then a move up to a student guitar that you'll one. keep. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Because I would I'd love to play one of these on the couch every Absolutely. night. Absolutely. You know. Um, the other person this is for is for somebody that's already got guitars that doesn't want to go down in their studio every every time they want to play, can sit on the couch. It's great for travel, you know, going to on vacation here in a couple of weeks. I may just snag me one of these yeah. babies. It's got a killer gig bag, which most guitars in this price range don't have. The gig bags from Taylor are amazing from the bottom to the top, you know, so they're just, they're killer. So um, you can play this at church. You can perform with this out at the club. I mean, there's the possibilities are endless with this thing. Yes. Why so, wouldn't you own one? Why two. wouldn't you? They're small. You should own two. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I have to say a word that I, I, I want to say, and it's Copafera, just because it makes me sound cool. It's what the headstock inlay is. So now that I've said the coolest word of the video, we can sign off. So gotcha. Thank you. So, you one-upped me. I did. Got to get it Copa somehow. Copafera? Copafera. Copafera. Copa okay. Got it? Oh, why Ricardo am I thinking Nutt, Farrah Fawcett? What? Because you probably would. <laughs> it shows you how old I am. <laughs> so anyway, we are, kids, I'm Brett. Kids are like, who? Farrah Fawcett, who's that? You should look her up. <laughs> I'm Brett. This is Rob, I think. Yep. Roberto, whatever you want to call him, whatever music he's playing. And uh, we are at moreguitars.com. We would love to talk with you, chat with you. You can email us however you want to get in touch with us. We are here to help. If you've... Uh, Never dealt with us. We are some of the nicest guys in the in the bid in the business. Bid the business. The biz. And we uh, we'd love to help you out. Um, we're not just about selling guitars. We just we love helping huh. people. We love this. We love our jobs. So, hit us up, moreguitars.com. Rob, Brent. Thanks for joining us. Come back and see us. <laughs>